Is the deep state mafia setting up a massive cyber attack false flag on the American people that will disrupt the 2024 election? Well, it turns out that the United States intel agencies have been running tabletop exercises on this exact scenario. And now the Department of Homeland Security head Mayorkas says the greatest cyber threat to America is something called killware. So what's really going on here? Are we being set up for a massive false flag? And investigative journalist Whitney Webb has been writing about these cyber attack tabletop exercises for years, and she's been exposing what they've been up to. And then uh, this week we had a crazy quote unquote cyber attack that seemed to shut down half the Internet um, this week. Banks and Rumble was down. And what was what exactly is going on here? Are we being played like a fiddle? Uh, Whitney Webb joins us right now. Whitney, when you saw this big cyber attack unfolding this week, did you say, oh, here we go? Or is this maybe perhaps totally unrelated to your investigations? Well, I would keep in mind for those that may not remember a few years ago, um, you know, the head of the World Economic Forum, Klaus Schwab, uh, talked about a cyber pandemic, right? Right. Uh, which implied that it was going that there was to be in the near future what he de described as something having significantly worse consequences uh, for for people worldwide than COVID uh, that was going to be um, you know a, a cyber pandemic meaning a series of cyber attacks. So I think that's essentially what's being uh, foreshadowed here, and I think you know we're uh, if we follow some other WEF warnings like we talked about uh, last time. It's quite possible that we'll be seeing uh, an escalation of you know what we've seen just this past week. Uh, but what matters also, and what doesn't get enough coverage, in my opinion, um, is you know how uh, the attribution of who's allegedly responsible for these attacks. So if you look at you know the recent news that um, allege that some uh, Chinese military linked um, group called Volt Typhoon was uh, embedded in US national infrastructure. The only sources for that cited in those reports as to why that group is deemed to be Chinese and the only group uh, groups allegedly finding them in these national uh, uh, systems of uh, critical importance nationally are groups like uh, Mayoft, who, as we talked about last time, uh, helped create the CTI League. Um, and also the CISA agency, uh, their longtime head, though I don't think he's head anymore, but he was head at the time that agency was created, Chris Krabs, uh, is former head of cybersecurity at Microsoft. And Microsoft also has a lot of uh, connections to uh, Cyber Reason, a group that's been doing a lot of these tabletop uh, simulations uh, that you referred to. Uh, earlier. And then the other group besides Microsoft is called Recorded Future, and they were created with seed funding uh, from Google Ventures and the CIA's InQtel. And they <laughs> rarely, if ever, provide any um, direct evidence as to why a group is, uh, you know, Chinese or Iranian or North Korean or Russian. You know, a lot of these groups, including, you know, uh, more notorious ones that blame stuff on Russian hackers uh, during like the 2016 elections, like, you know, CrowdStrike, uh, for example, more often than not, they don't give any actual evidence. They say, we suspect, or this group behaves similarly to a group that is, you know, of these various nationalities. And uh, we need evidence, especially since the WikiLeaks uh, release of Vault 7, that um, the CIA and affiliated intelligence agencies in, in Five Eyes and beyond can blame any nation state they want by placing false fingerprints of various nation state actors in attacks, cyber attacks they actually conduct themselves. And it, the, the importance of that, you know, when you're talking about attribution, is that, you know, who's to blame for this catastrophic cyber attack? And it's very possible to have, you know, an extreme uh, psyop conducted on on the American population that could push us uh, into, you know, World War Three, uh, which I think, you know, the risk of that is much clearer to people now than it was even, you know, a few months ago. Yeah, Colonel Douglas McGregor on our show has. Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the true name of the God of Israel, 
Yahweh Shai's, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one and only true name is Yahweh Shai. And um, pretty much as you heard in the intro of this clip, this is dealing with a cyber attack as the World Economic Forum, you know, um, headed by Charles Schwab, the founder. He said that within the next two years, you know, as well as other people that's in the World Economic Forum, they said between 2023 and 2025, there could be a major cyber attack. You have other sources, they said before 2030. Now, what would be the point of this cyber attack in order to usher in a new system, all right, that would take away more of your rights, that would further this NWO 2030 agenda, this new world order agenda, all right? So what they want to do is they want to implement the CBDC, which is the central bank digital currency in all of these countries. They want to get rid of commercial banks. They want to get rid of cash so that every country, because remember, every country has one central bank in it. So they want to get rid of the commercial banks, such as Chase or whatever these commercial banks is called within your country. All of them is going to close down. It's not just going to be America, all right? America is not the only country that's in debt. When you look at the worlddebtclock.org, if you go to that website, it's not just America that's in debt. You have a list of a lot of countries that's in debt. Now, the only way to get rid of the debt is by coming up with an entirely new system. And this is what we're living through right now. This is what we are witnessing we're seeing this banking system transition so that it could revolve around the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip implant. Because like I said, when you read Revelation 13 and 17, the programmable digital money is going to be programmed as data on a device. And that device that they plan to make mandatory, according to Revelation 13 and 16, is what? The mark of the beast, which only is the RFID chip implant. All right. Because the digital currency, that's not a device. All right. It's programmable. It's digital. But in order for you to physically use it, it has to be programmed on a device. And that's where the RFID chip implant, which is and only is the mark of the beast. That's where it comes in at. All right. So we're in some serious times. So I'm going to read this um, brief um, description. It says, is the deep state, and you know, these are cold names. You know, you hear people talk about, oh, secret society this, you know, Illuminati this, deep state, shadow government. These people never want to call these group of individuals by who they are according to the scriptures. And who they are according to the scriptures is who? The Edomites, the so-called white man in sea line. First and foremost, the central bankers, the Rothschilds on down, all right? They're the heads of this NWO 2030 agenda, and they put one of their own as the head of the World Economic Forum, which his name is Claude Schwab, all right? He's a Rothschild in disguise because you have the Rothschilds throughout the years, you know, they go by different aliases, all right? And Mad Brothers have done, you know, videos on this. Beginning with the apostles, you know, the heads, the elders on down. All right. So it says is the deep state mafia, which is Esau, right? The so-called white man in sea line, according to the Bible. They are the true descendants of Esau, Edom. It says setting up a massive cyber attack, false flag. All right. Going back to what? The Hegelian dialect, because it goes back to what? A problem that they create in the form of a false flag attack and is also controlled opposition because they control both sides. All right. The media is owned by the Edomites, the so-called white men in sea line. Whatever they project on the media is to further their agenda. All right. They create the problems. They see how you people is going to react and they come up with a solution in order to what? Further their agenda. All right. It's called social conditioning. So that's what they be doing on the minds of the people. They do it with Democrats and Republicans. They do it, you know, all throughout the world. They do it with these groups, Black Lives Matter, you know, Antifa. Right. Just to give you a little bit of examples. So it says 
setting up a massive cyber attack false flag. Now, what would be the point of this? To crash this current banking system in order to come up with an entirely new system that's a digital society, a digital cashless society. This is why you're seeing things like FedNow. FedNow is not the CBDC. FedNow is not a currency. FedNow deals with a money transferring platform, all right? It's the platform that the CBDC, the central bank digital currency within America only, is going to run on, all right? And that central bank digital currency is going to flow through blockchain. This is why they created Bit, um, Bitcoin. So you could get used to the idea of using digital um, cryptocurrency that flows through blockchain. Blockchain keeps a record of all your transactions, just like FedNow. The job of FedNow is to replace Cash App, Venmo, all right, PayPal, Zelle, and anything similar to that. Western Union, MoneyGram, I could go down the list. You know, different international platforms where you can send money overseas. FedNow is going to replace that within America. All right. So it says, um, yep, American people that will disrupt the 2024 election. So these devils, they're already scheming. Going back to 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Well, it turns out the U.S. intel agencies have been running tabletop exercises on this exact scenario. Now, why is that? Because this is a predetermined agenda. Going back to what? Problem, reaction, solution. You know, the Hegelian dialect. So these people, they have an agenda they're, try they're um, trying to accomplish. All right. And they're going to force people onto this platform. This, these devils, they don't have too much time left, all right? These devils, they have to hurry up. You look at the ages of the Rothschilds, the different central bankers, the different, you know, Amalekites, you know, so-called, you know, ish people, you know, Edomites that run these different um, industries, whether it be food, you know, the pharmaceutical industry, you know, the um, water, um, clothing, you know, anything you can think of is going to go back to the Edomite at the top of the helm or the food chain, all right? These these devils is old. They're old, all right? So they got to hurry up, going back to Revelation 12 and 12. You know, they're going to come down with great wrath because their time is short. They don't got forever, all right? We, we're not living, and they're not living according to their own terms. We all living according to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh's timeline. When he's ready for something to come to pass, that's when things is going to happen, all right? Because a lot of you people, you give these devils too much credit. It says, um, well, it turns out the U.S. intel agencies have been running table tabletop exercises on this exact scenario. Yeah, you see what's going on. All right. They blame Russia, Iran, China, all these opposing countries that's against America. They're blaming them saying what? That, oh, you know, some of these migrants, you know, they could be, um, you know, troops, you know, Gurga troops or U.N. troops. That's that's what's going on. And they've been talking about, oh, there's going to be a tax on a power grid. Right. It says, um, and now Department of Homeland Security head. Um, my cause says the greatest cyber threat to America is something called killware. What's really going on here? All right. So look, man, we've been warning you for over a decade. You know, it's getting ready to be a decade beginning from when North Korea, they was talking about, oh, we're going to launch cyber attacks. We got two satellites over in America. You people, y'all forgot about that. They've been saying for years that the power grid within America, you know, is vulnerable. Like how many times we got to keep telling you that and how many times the, the media that's controlled by Esau Edom, they've been warning you for years that this is their plan. This is what they plan to do. Before these devils do anything, going back to the book of Psalms, you know, they make their tongues fall upon themselves. Meaning what? They expose themselves, whether it's in movies, you know, um, hidden symbolism in these different music videos. These devils, they be telling you what the hell they're getting ready to do before it becomes a reality, before it becomes a drill, before it becomes a false flag attack, before it becomes a natural disaster, before it becomes so drastic that affects you. All right. So here you have the prophets. You know, we we pretty much we the cherry on top. 
And we telling you through the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham El Shai concerning Jacob's trouble is going to be like a time like never before. You're going to have all kind of things simultaneously happening all at the same time. So you've been warned. All right. But ultimately, the reason why they want to bring the cyber attack is to usher in the CBDC and this mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip implant. All right. Let's finally get into the scriptures. Uh, First Thessalonians 5 and 3 in the KJV. It says, for when they shall say peace and safety. Who's saying peace and safety? All these countries, all these countries, they go through disease outbreaks. All these countries, once upon a time. They was under what? The C-19. Everything was locked down. You could only buy essential things. You couldn't buy non-essential things. And now it's like that never happened. Everything just returned back to normal. All right. But now a new pandemic is looming. You know, this new thing that's going on within China. And ultimately what? The cyber attack. You have a cyber attack on the banking system. That's going to shut the Internet off. That's going to lead to the famine of the word. That's going to hurt people's online revenue. You know, a lot of people's entrepreneurs. So you shut the Internet down. It's a, it's a wrap for people. All right. Their pride is going to disappear. It says, um, for what they shall say, peace and safety, then sudden destruction. When you go into this word sudden, let's let the word in the Greek play. Strong's G160. Ifnidias. Ifnidias. Afnidias in the Greek for the word sudden it says unexpected now a false flag attack or something drastic like a disease outbreak like how the C19 is and was it was unexpected you could never think in all your years of living that you would experience that the highways is clear stores is closed down small businesses is hurt 33% of them to be exact all right you never would have thought things like that would have happened. You know, you as an individual, you are unemployment, right? It says sudden. When something is sudden, now you're in a situation you couldn't even prepare for. That's how that cyber attack is going to be. It says unforeseen. This is an unforeseen thing by the average individual. Why? Because they don't know how to link up the current events with the Bible prophecies to understand the time period they're living in. All right? So they're going to be caught off guard. Why? Because they put too much trust and faith in the government. It says, coming upon them as travail upon a woman with child. Yeah, because you're going to be hurt financially. You're going to be hurt economically. You're going to be begging for a solution. And that's when you're going to fall into the snare of these Edomites. All right? The devil, the so-called white man is Elon. It says, upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. And they're not going to escape because they're going to get caught up in it. Why? Because... The signs was there. You know, they talk about this on the mainstream media, but the average person, they don't want to talk about news. They don't want to talk about politics and they damn sure don't want to talk about the scriptures. So that's their downfall. That's why it goes on to say this. But ye brethren, you know, the elect of the nation of Israel, beginning with the prophets, are not in darkness. All right. You know, we're not consumed by the lies and the philosophies and ways of this world. It says that that day shall overtake you as a thief. We're waiting for it to happen. All right. We constantly doing videos on topics like this. It's not just one brother. You know, it's, it's great millstone as a whole. Um, NLT version, 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. It says so that Satan and the Satan that is talking about is the Satan like individuals that run the planet Earth. Going back to 2 Ezra 6 and 9. It's referring to the Edomites. All right. The so-called white man is Eli. Will not outsmart us. He can't outsmart us because we have the Holy Spirit, which the Holy Spirit is the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures through the blood and sacrifice of Yahweh. It says, For we are familiar with his evil schemes. All right. Another word for schemes is agendas, you know, their plans. What's their plan? The 2030 agenda, the NWO agenda. So we're well aware of what's going on. They said it at the World Economic Forum. All right. And now check this out. Right. Um, in case you don't watch Dabu 77, because that's why I saw the, the video first, you know, the, the World Economic Forum, they said that there's going to be a major cyber attack within the next two years, from 2023 to 2025, right? So I typed in WEF cyber attack, right? And it says, people also ask, this is from Google, you should be able to find this exact information that I'm showing on the screen, right? 
It says, um, is the World Economic Forum 2023 a catastrophic cyber event? It says, this is evidence in the World Economic Forum report, Global Cybersecurity Outlook 2023, where the vast majority of cyber and business leaders think it moderately likely or very likely, which a lot of these people, they're insiders. They know when this is going to take place, just like when 9 11. How the hell did people know how to call out before supposedly those planes hit? It's the same thing. It says, um, thinking moderately likely or very likely that the global G political instability will lead to a far reaching catastrophic cyber event in the next two years. So this is what the World Economic Forum said. And there's actual clips on this on YouTube. Search it up. All right. Let's see what else they got here. So, I mean, you know, that's pretty much it. You know, you could do your own um, research, but, you know, this can very likely happen. Now, check this out. I typed in cyber attack. How will it affect Americans? Right. So it says, how are people affected by cyber attacks? A person might experience anger, fear, and sadness. This links up with Jeremiah 30 and 5 through 6. It says fear and sadness or events like nightmares or flashbacks. When online victims experience cyber crimes, <clears throat> Chalaki, such as cyber trauma, can become life-changing. Developing PTSD or, you know, like extreme anxiety and other emotional traumas is more likely when security breaches involve personal data, such as what? Somebody committing identity theft, you know, they steal your social, they're you pretty much all right so um it says how does cyber warfare affect citizens it says yep citizens are primarily affected by cyber warfare through death which i was just explaining or loss of personal information such as financial or identification data it says this can result in identity theft financial losses and reputational harm so this is another reason for them to bring about the CBDC and also the MOTB. All right. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. So now I'm going to end it with these two scriptures and the OT. This is Luke 21 and 34. It says, um, I read 35, Luke 21 and 35 and the OT. It says like a trap for that day will come upon everyone living on earth. All right. So a lot of these people, they're not watching. Like how the verse above, you know, don't let that day catch you unawares. Because this news has been going on for a long time, all right? And there's plenty of doomsday movies on Netflix all, all over. And they talk about events like this. And people feel like, oh, well, I got a generator. I don't have nothing to worry about. America is the greatest country in the world. And, like, these people are prideful, all right? And the scriptures is clear. It tells you because of their pride, Second Ezra 15 and 14, so shall the um, cities be troubled. Right? So it says keep alert at all times. I mean, you've got to see what's going on in the news. Ultimately, the alternative media. It says and pray. you got to pray to your Hapa Basham El Shai as Israelites that you might be strong enough, right, through your faith, through the blood and sacrifice of your Hapa Shai, to escape these coming horrors, Jacob's trouble, and stand before the Son of Man, Yahushua. Right? I'm gonna end up with this. Uh, Revelation 12 and 12, KJV. It says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you. And who's the devil? The so called white man in the sea line, the Edomites. All right? And the word devil, it means slanderer, but it also means deceiver. It says, having great wrath because he knows that he have but a short time. Yeah, because they're old. They got to hurry the hell up. They're, you know, they're in their 60s. They think that they have good diets and they got everything under control. But, you know, we, we know how Edomites age. They don't got forever. All right. They're on the most highest timing. Once they fulfill their portion and lot of prophecy. That's it for them. So, Lord willing, you was edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem El Shai. Shalom.